Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. Y'all, I'm about to cry. <laughs> I stopped here to get Tim his lunch. And there was a lady that was um, in front of me. And she got like four coffees, mochas, whatever. Anyhow, um, then I placed my order and I stood to the side. And the lady was still in front of me waiting for her stuff. And this elderly lady, she got up from her table. Her and her husband were sitting there. She got up from her table. And she walked up to that lady that was getting the coffees. And took her hand and um, gave her some money. Of course, I didn't see all that. I know the lady spoke to the other lady and that was it. Well, by the time she was ready to get out, they had Tim's food ready, and she had walked over to thank those people for giving her the money, and then she was ready to come out behind me, and I said, you come on, I'm not going to um, let go of the door, because you have that coffee, I'm going to let you go on out, so I held the door, and she turned around, and she looked at me, and she said, those people just gave me ten dollars and you know that just blessed me and she you know and then they they evidently they talked about God for a minute and that is awesome because God is good God is always with us we are never alone and that is what I told her she walked out there and she started to cry and I said, God is good. I said, we are never alone. And she said, I needed that today. And y'all, I just had to tell you that if somebody is out there and you see a need for somebody, please help them. You just don't never know how you're going to touch somebody else's life when you do something for somebody else. It's awesome, y'all. Okay, I gotta clear these tears up. Didn't mean to be crying, but things like that just touch me because my heart is always full and I love God and God has done so much for me in my life. I am blessed by, by all means. God is wonderful. God is awesome. Anyway, I just want to tell you that y'all are never alone. If you think you are, you're wrong. God is there. Okay, now... I got Tim his Whoppers and his French fries. You know, taters for Tim. <laughs> Tim's got his taters today. I've got me a salad. I went to the Piggly Wiggly here in the town, and you can fix your salad for $4.99 a pound. So I got me a salad, and I'm probably going to show it to you when I get there. Right now, this town that Tim works in is absolutely nuts. They've got the... I think it's called the Blossom Festival this weekend. So the streets were blocked off, and I had to ask a cop, how the heck do I get around to get to the um, Burger King? And uh, so he had to give me uh, directions, because there was no detour signs or nothing to tell you how to get anywhere. So anyway, I'm heading to go see Tim now, and I'll give him his lunch. Hey guys, I come out here to where Tim works at, and they have got a new play toy out here. Oh my god, it's the cutest little thing, y'all. Y'all. Let me see. Look. Look at that. It's our newest thing out here at Strickland Equipment. It's a most the grass for you. It has the boundaries there. It's got the little flags. See the little flags. It's got its little boundaries. It's really quiet. You don't even hear it running. Oh my gracious. Isn't it amazing? We have vacuums that do the work for you. 
now we have lawnmowers that do the work for you. Mm -mm. Look at it. What y'all see is uh, it's called a auto mower. Um, it is a robotic type of uh, mower. Basically, set it and forget it. It has a timing system on it where you can set when it um, when it cuts and when it goes to what it calls home base or charging port. What it'll do is it has a perimeter um, guide wire underground, no obstructions or anything such as that, and it knows where those um, sensing wires are, and it'll run. You can set it in any path you want to, and it'll run to the edges of your guide wires where you have it set up your perimeters and it'll constantly cut it'll go back and forth it'll choose its own path to cut and keep it groomed um what it'll do when it senses that the battery it has an onboard computer that when it senses the battery is low it'll go back to its home base which you see right there and it'll pull itself up there and charge itself when it gets charged it'll immediately go back to where it was um, cutting and uh, finish the job. It also can be, um, the times can be regulated um, throughout the day of how long it cuts, uh, what times it cuts. Once you set it up, you don't have to worry about it anymore. It takes care of it itself. It cuts about a quarter of an inch each cut. Um, and the only drawback that I've seen is your ground needs to be fairly, fairly unobstructed. Um, it's for grooming. Um, once you get your yard looking like this looks right here, it cuts it all the time. It maintains itself. You don't have to worry about it. No matter what the weather is, uh, no matter what the conditions are, if you've got it timed to cut, it's going to cut. Um, I haven't seen anything that would stop it, but, uh, the angles, the, the angle of the ground may affect it, but it'll pull up a hill that's 20, some, about 24 degrees, I think it is. Um, but other than that, I mean, it maintains it perfectly. Uh, there's two different sizes. The one you see there is like the 315 um they do have a the other one is a 430, 430. yeah mm -hmm. they do have a 430 um and it's slightly larger but um that's just our test model for now we're just seeing how they work and people are really liking them the plug in basically set it and forget it is really popular especially around homes it will do around um uh, flower beds and things such as that um, any kind of obstacles like that you can set your perimeters to go around it doesn't have to be in a square it'll do pathways walkways um, all kinds of um, things such as that um, and it can work it, in the rain as yes, well all weather yeah all weather construction um, everything is contained within the unit itself um, <coughs> and it says you can um, set it up on your smartphone as well. Yes. Um, but that is in the owner's manual. I really don't know a lot about that, but um, you can probably go on the Husqvarna site and check that out. And it says it does cut uneven loans too. Um, but I wouldn't have them too uneven. Um, just saying. And it leaves absolutely no marks, no grinds, no, no noise. scalping. And it, it is quiet, yes, it is very quiet. You don't hear it at all. Okay, I gotta go get Tim. His lunch is getting cold. Mm. Well, I made it back home, got all of my Audi run put up, and today just must not be my day because I was gonna show you what I got, and I went and threw it all in the refrigerator, the freezer, and in the cabinets before I ever thought about telling you what I got but you can take my word for it if you want
You reckon? Let's see, from Audi, I got some chicken legs, 99 cent. And let's see, I got a couple cans of string beans that were 49 cent a can. I got my heavy whipping cream, $1.55 a container. I got some more unsweet almond milk, which I use that for my Frosties. I've had a big struggle with my sugar um, cravings this week, so I've been making those um, chocolate Frosties, which I always hit the spot. They're so good. If y'all haven't tried a chocolate Frosty yet, y'all need to get with it. Anyway, um, what else did I get from Audi? I got um, a dozen eggs. They were 99 cents. What else? What else? What else? I got mayonnaise from Audi. I got Tim some Oreo cookies from Audi. I got me some of those. What are they called? So, I have been watching um, on the Lauren Brazy's channel the um, little snack she gets from Audi, and I, I have got to try these. Maybe this will be a snack that will get me through my sugar cravings. Oh my gosh. She's tried several of them. And I'm just getting one box at the time just to see if I like it. So, this is the box that I got. It's Elevation Caramel Nut. It's that right there. Can you see? Can you see? It says two net carbs per bar. So, I thought that was pretty good. So, um, when I try these, I will get on here and let you watch me try them to see if I like them or not. Anyhow, let's see. What else did I get while I was out today? I got some of those um, microwave pork rinds from the Walmart. I got five packs of those. Tim has just tried my crumbs. And I wouldn't let him have that last bag because I told him, I said, you can snack on anything. I'm limited at my snacking right now because so, I really hadn't had a whole lot of mess to bake cookies or whatever. So um, I haven't had enough heavy whipping cream to make my, um, my pudding that I make with my sugar-free pudding and the heavy whipping cream. I hadn't had enough of that and... Oh, God, let me tell y'all something. Mm -mm -mm. I had got me some sugar free um, jello the other day. And I had been adding a couple of my Truvias in it, and that made it awesome. So just remember that, you ketoers, if you're doing dirty keto, um, grab you some sugar free jello for a snack. And add you a couple Truvias in there, and it's almost like it's not sugar-free anymore. It's really good. Because last yesterday, I made the sugar-free, and I didn't put that sugar in it, and but Nah. Won't happen again. Tim wouldn't even eat it. He took one bite, and he said, not for me. <laughs> so, anyhow, let me see. Oh, I got a roll of hamburger, the big roll from Sam's and it won't the 73 it was the 80 but that's okay and it was oh gosh what was it 249 a pound something like that anyway so I got me a roll of that and of course the dog's gonna bark and bark and bark y'all let me get off of here we will finish this another day Thank y'all so much for stopping by. I think somebody's here. Thank y'all so much for stopping by. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm sorry I have to get off so fast, but these dogs are about to go nuts. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Have a great weekend. Bye now.